On the 28th of September, we rented a car from Alamo in Reno, drove to Las Vegas, and stayed the night at a Motel 6. The following day, we flew non-rev on America West to Houston, and then Continental to Gatwick. We arrived at Gatwick on the 30th and rented a car from Alamo for 10 days. It cost just under $300. We spent the first night at Olive and Lens and then started our travels. Our first stop was to check out Laylam Campsite. It had changed a little bit since our last visit. Before we were married, we'd spend many of our weekends camping at Laylam. This was taken in 1953. The other couple are my longtime friend Oscar and his girlfriend Audrey. On our flight over on the 29th, we thought about hiring a narrowboat and having Ronnie join us on the canals. After giving it some more thought, we decided to contact ownerships to see if they had any shares available while we were over there. The plan being to buy a share and then sell it. Well, they did have a share available, and to cut a long story short, on the 3rd of October we handed over £2,900 to Alan Matthews for a share in Narrowboat Ursula. After we sealed the deal with Alan Matthews, we headed up to Yorkshire. This is the Bingley Five Rise and it's on the Leeds and Liverpool Canal. Our next stop was Bolton Abbey a ruined 12th century priory in North Yorkshire. One way to get there is to cross the River Wharf on these stepping stones. The Abbey was founded in 1151 by the Augustinians. In the early 14th century, Scottish raiders caused a temporary abandonment of the site and serious structural damage to the priory. It was still being built when the dissolution of the monasteries resulted in the termination of the priory in 1539. The main reason for our visit was to see the graveside of my relatives, Edith Agnes and Mary Augusta Brinand. They are my first cousins twice removed. Both were highly respected nursing professionals and Mary was awarded the MBE, that's the Member of the British Empire, for the work she did for the National Health Service. This is inside the Abbey Ruins. Afterwards we went for a stroll around the Abbey grounds. Our next stop was to see my childhood friend Dorothy Thornton in Holm, Westmoreland. I grew up with her while evacuated to my grandparents during World War II. We spent two nights with Dorothy at Cedar Tops Farm. This is a shot from the farm looking towards the village. I remember spending many enjoyable hours here with Dorothy's late husband Richard. He was one of my closest friends when I was a young lad. While there I took Otto, the family dog, for walks along the canal towpath. This is Cricketfield Bridge and where I learnt to swim. My granddad will pull me across the canal with a bike tower around my middle. Another reason we went to Westmoreland was to see my aging Aunt Elsie. She was suffering from dementia and was staying in a home, but she thoroughly enjoyed the day out in the car. We drove her around the scenic moors of West Yorkshire. From the 10th through the 17th of October, we cruised on narrowboat Ursula. On the 19th of October, we headed for the Isle of Wight. This is Her Majesty's Yacht Britannia leaving Southampton for the last time. 
We spent four nights at the Norfolk House in Shanklin. The only photos we took while we were on the island was when we went on a pleasant walk from Shanklin to Bainbridge and back. I believe this is a shot of the beach from our B&B, but I'm not 100% sure about this. 